And uh, Susan Becker, if you come on up, you're, you're our first uh, candidate for vice chair. Thank you, Ted. So this is the advantage of having a name that starts with B. I get to be first. Um, I think, like everyone has said, um, I am honored to be considered as a nominee for the IAC Executive Committee. And I'm going to take my allotted three minutes uh, quickly to share with you why I believe I'm not only qualified to step into the role, but why I'm really excited and eager to do it as well. Um, it starts with experience. I have over 30 years of experience in the IT marketplace in both commercial and federal markets. Um, over that time, I've had the opportunity to support and or lead uh, major programs uh, addressing a, a broad range of issues and uh, in, in federal agencies. And I have solid experience in, in bringing partners together, bringing people together, companies of all sizes, and being able to uh, understand the teamwork and tenacity that it takes to deliver solutions that really impact the government's mission, which is what this is all about. I also have um, significant IAC experience. I started with this organization working in SIGs. I've served as a communications chair of the Collaboration Transformation SIG. I'm a, a graduate of the 2009 Partner Program. One of my um, fellow partners from that class is here today also running. Um, I have served as a uh, sponsorship ambassador for the last couple of years, and last year I had the distinct pleasure of serving on the uh, planning committee. I was the co-chair of the collaboration component of the Executive Leadership Conference. It was a very exciting opportunity to really change things up in terms of the way that conference was run, interactive. Uh, it was fantastic, and I'm happy to say that I'm going to be able to do it again with uh, Tony Bardo and others who were on this uh, planning committee. I'm going to be serving as the industry vice chair for the overall conference. And I agree with what was said earlier. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that you get much more out than what you put in when you get involved in planning a conference like this. So I encourage you to get involved, join a committee, and get engaged and, and participate. Um, anybody who knows me will, will tell you that I'm a doer. I like to roll up my sleeves and get things done, and I like to be around other people who do. Um, I would, my, um, my belief is that all of this happens because of collaboration. Um, I believe in the power of we and that it takes more brains than one uh, to make great things happen. My passion is to work with all of you to find new ways, to harness new ways of thinking and doing and going along with some of the things that have been said before, uh, to get better collaboration between government and industry that ultimately uh, deliver better mission outcomes for government and also better business outcomes for industry because we're all in this together. I'm also, I have the, uh, the full commitment of my company. Um, Ted mentioned VP, PV Puvada, uh, the senior VP for uh, Unisys Federal. I have his full commitment, and if you all know, he is absolutely committed this or to this organization, and I am committed in the same way to do the same. So uh, I, my time is up. I got the card. Um, I have to say now, thank you very much. Uh, I re respectfully ask for your vote and appreciate the time. Thank you.